here a while guys I was coming down a hill and this rock flicked up lifted the whole bike off the ground this uh, side of this bash plate actually split this is one of the eBay eBay bash plates look at that but thank god I had it on there because that would have were a tit that would have gone straight for the side casing if I didn't have a bloody bash plate on there so I've had to I just pushed it down a little bit so I'm back home now after that camp and I'm gonna take this bash plate off and have a look what happened so you can see here there's a massive dent in the front of the bash plate there but I also want to show you how crappy these things mount all they use is um, like pipe clamps and there's a couple of you know a couple of bloody allen key bolts at the back but I don't know if it somehow it actually stayed on pretty good so I'm gonna take that off now and um, we'll have a look seven mil Yeah, so these just these clamps just go through around the frame and then back out there I'd really like to make maybe another u-clamp possibly on that look at that look at that it's coming apart well isn't it that's not meant to happen it goes around your around your frame there's a bit of rain coming hoping to get out for a bit of a ride today it's got a Get this bash plate off, do an oil change, and I'll have a go at migging this plate up on the side. So they have uh, those clamps at the front, then there's just these two plates coming back to the mounting point here. I don't know why they couldn't just make the plate longer and actually just bolt directly on, because when you look at it, you see those bolts sticking up under there? I'm wondering if you got a fair whack, if those screws might hit the bottom of the motor. I'll get these off. Should have saved me money and bought a BNB. I've just wasted 85 bucks on this one. You can see that is split pretty bad. I'm guessing that pushing up there has pulled that out. You think that'd be pretty strong though, you know, like. But you can see like here. You know, it's cut and then the welding it doesn't even penetrate right through it if it was welded up properly it might have been all right yeah that's your 85 dollar ebay plate so i think i'll get it on the on the uh, anvil and i'll bash that straight and then see what happens it's not really hard to bend Pretty soft actually. Looks like it's had a really big hit here as well. Alright, it's kind of a bit more in the place. Really not sure how we're gonna go about welding this, but I'll grind it down. And we'll have a go at it. Just gonna have a little practice run, grinding a bit of scrap aluminium. Alright, seems to be working. Well it wasn't pretty, but I think I'll give it a go on the inside as well, make sure it penetrates. Try and make a nice V shape out of that. Well it actually didn't come out too bad. Do you know what? I reckon I might grind out the other side. Grind this out and uh, go over it again. A bit of my own welding, maybe I'll just on the inside. Get up here. But we don't want that to happen again, do we? All right, I'll do that and I'll come back here. So guys, I just wanted to show you that you can actually weld aluminium at home with your normal MIG. I'm just using this Boss Weld 0.9 millimeter wire. It's a 5356. It's a lot stiffer wire, it won't bunch up on you like some of the other ones that need a spool gun. But yeah, it's a bit of mucking around, you have a bit of a practice on uh, some scrap. 
I found getting the settings was the hardest part and um, because I'm using this for metal wire welding as well there's a lot of contaminants which is not ideal ideally you would set it up with a new liner and just strictly have aluminium but for me it done the job so yeah everything's got to be really really clean have a stainless steel wire brush and um yeah don't be scared to have a go if you're gonna buy an ebay <laughs> ebay uh bash plate be prepared to do some welding guys otherwise yeah that saved my motor i'm pretty grateful for that but yeah you will need straight argon gas to weld aluminium um i just buy straight argon 100 percent and um, i just weld steel everything with it that's what my engineer mates tell me that's what they use so Good enough for them it's good enough for me just another tip guys i reckon you should cut these off level i'm gonna cut it off the grinder i'll probably melt the nylock nut but it should be all right